First, we're going to put in the butters. With just a few simple ingredients. Now it's time for a plant-based gel. These 8th graders. Now it's time for the active ingredient, the zinc oxide. Created their own sunscreen. It's actually surprisingly easy to make, a, to make a sunscreen. They got the ingredients on Amazon. Then it was just like following a cooking recipe. All of our ingredients contain SPF and moisturize your skin. These four eighth graders from the University School of Milwaukee created their own sunscreen they're calling Ocean Guard. Looks very good, just like our last batch. The team is made up of Sophie Coquelin, Samuel Ewan, Viraj Kamath, and Benjamin Raphael. They wanted to make an ocean-friendly sunscreen that wouldn't leak toxic chemicals into the water that could harm animals and bleach coral reefs. All the ingredients, like natural butter, zinc oxide, and essential oils, will decompose naturally in the ocean. They consulted with dermatologists about the right ingredients, determined the amounts, and then mixed them all together. They've tested it on UV paper, plants, and against other store brand products and found theirs performs better. We've tested our sunscreen on humans and we've tested it on us ourselves. Unfortunately, we can't test it on students because that's against the school's policy. But not against my own personal policy. Growing up, my mom was always saying, James, you gotta put on your sunscreen. And still to this day, she's always saying, James, did you put sunscreen on your face? Well, let me tell you this, mom. Today, yes, I did use some sunscreen. It's theirs that the students made and it's some of the most organic you can get. I didn't realize this is one of those sunscreens where a little goes a long way. Is it rubbed in? <laughs> no, it's not rubbed in. <laughs> I've done stories with the school before. They reached out to me again because they wanted to highlight what their students were doing. The team of eighth grade scientists wants to take their creation out of the classroom. They're working with a local law firm to patent their product. We hope it goes to the market and they'll be able to mass distribute this amazing product so that everybody can help the ocean. So give it a year or two. Maybe you'll see Ocean Guard on store shelves. In River Hills, James Grow, TMJ4 News.